This is the first in a series of short videos about problem management in ServiceNow. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a problem ticket. Now, there are a couple situations where you might want to create a problem ticket. Problem in ServiceNow is used to discover the root cause of a situation. So if you have multiple incident tickets about the same situation with the same problem or, or underlying cause, that's a situation where you want to create a problem ticket. Also, if you have a, a, an incident that has either a high or critical priority, this is a good situation to create a problem ticket so that for that really important incident we can sit back and take a look at the root cause and really get that documented correctly. Um, anyone in ServiceNow right now has the ability and the authority to create a problem ticket. So if you're seeing stuff going on that really needs a problem, uh, connected to it, you go ahead and create that problem ticket. So let's see how to do that. Right here I've got an incident ticket and from the incident ticket it's a very simple thing to do. There's a little menu next to incident and um, it's it's not an obvious menu but when you mouse over it you'll see you have a few options. You can also get to the same menu by right clicking on the incident bar anywhere along here. I'm going to go ahead and use the teeny tiny black arrow and I'm going to choose create problem. What this does is it creates a new problem ticket. You can see that a lot of the fields are auto-populated directly from the incident ticket. One of your responsibilities in creating the problem ticket is just to double check that anything that comes through from incident still applies here. Um, I am the person who opened it. Uh, yes, the service offering is surveys here. I might want to reword the short description. So that makes a little more sense for the folks who are going to be working on this. And I definitely want to double check the assignment group. So the assignment group is whoever is going to be doing the searching for the root cause. Typically this is tier 1 or tier 2 associated with the service offering. And of course I can find that out by going over the information field for the service offering. Here I can see that tier 2 for this service offering is OIT application support. When this problem ticket is saved, just like in the incident process, OIT application support, everyone in that group will receive an email. And it's their responsibility once it gets into their assignment group that in some way that group deals with the problem. So someone in that group should be looking not only for incident tickets that are assigned to the group, but also for problem tickets. Now there's only a few more fields that are required at this point. The description field is required and I want to emphasize the description field should be from the end user perspective. This should be plain English. This is not for a whole bunch of technical stuff. You can see there is work notes below. I'm going to emphasize this because problem ties in closely with knowledge. There are certain things that I can do to this ticket that will open a knowledge base article and will include the text that's in the description field. So um, I'm not going to take a whole lot of time to type anything in here. That would be boring for you to watch, but I'll say description of problem in plain English from end user's perspective. There we go. So that I'm emphasizing that is how you're going to be filling that in. Now as we can see there actually aren't any other required fields at this time. As I scroll down though I'm going to point out that the incident that I originally created this problem ticket from is attached to this problem ticket. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a separate video. But for now, I'm just going to go up to the top and say save and go. This again will create the problem and will have it show up in the assignment group. And again, the assignment group in this case is OIT application support. It will show up in their queue and send those folks an email to let them know. I do want to point out one other thing and that is I'm going to open up my left navigation bar and scroll down to the problem area, it is entirely possible to create a new problem from scratch without starting from an incident. This would be only if for some reason you are aware of a problem but an incident ticket hasn't actually been opened yet. This has fewer fields filled out so it just means more work on your part. So you probably want to start from the incident ticket point of view. And that's all about creating a problem ticket.